Instead of trying out with a lot of nails, let's do it with one. Let's see what happens. All right, apply same pressure. Yeah! Welcome to Ryan's world. Hey guys, what do you think would happen if we put a balloon on a bed of nails? <sighs> So guys, if you do this at home, make sure you ask your parents for help. All right, so today I'm in charge, Ryan. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you think the balloon's gonna pop or stay the same oh on top of- wonder. Yeah, on top of these nails. Instead of trying out with a lot of nails, let's do it with one. Let's see what happens. I think it's gonna pop if you put a lot of pressure. All right, let's see what happens. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, apply same pressure. Did it pop? <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> All right, so guys, so now let's try the same thing with a lot of nails. Yeah. Guys, remember, there are a lot of nails. So remember, ask a grown up for help. Yeah, because they are pointing, right? So you don't want to touch it. Here. Yeah. All right. You guys ready? So set the loom. I think I know what's going to happen. So, and I'm going to use this board so it won't go up anywhere. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna press it. Whoa, good. Uh, Guys, I'm pressing really hard, but it's still not popping. You see it? <laughs> How come there's so many nails, Daddy, but it didn't pop? The first time we apply the force into one nail. So the area that we apply the force is a very tiny area right here. Okay, the second time we apply same amount of force, but this big of area. For example, if I press you with my finger, <laughs> right? So then same amount of force, but if I do it with my palm, doesn't hurt, right? No. But I'm applying the same force, but in different area. Ow. See? Ow. But Daddy, can we see how much force it takes to pop the balloon with the giant area? All right, let's see. Because earlier we couldn't pop it. Daddy, it was like all the way down here. But if I press it on my 100% force, what's gonna happen? Are you, you doing 100%? No, not yet. Ooh, my gosh! It's still not popping. Can I even pop? No way. It's still not popping. Are you at 100% yet? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You ready? Okay. I'm gonna reach my 100%. You okay, ready? Okay. Okay. Ooh. Still not popping. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that looked hard. But did you see how much force I applied? Yeah. Because the area was so much bigger, so I have to apply a lot bigger force to pop the balloon. That was so cool. So now we're going to see it in action again. All right, let's go. Whoa. Again, pressing a lot. Whoa. Pressing a lot. Do you have to go all the way back down again? Yes. Still no? Whoa! Ow. Almost all the way down. Ooh. Whoa. Ah. That was so cool! Yeah, this experiment teaches you the concept of the pressure. The pressure is the amount of force applied over the area. So the smaller the area is, the higher the pressure. For example, with the same amount of force but applied in a smaller area, it makes the pressure higher. Oh, your finger hurts, Ryan. <laughs> so, same amount of force, but look, the, the one you're point, uh, pressing with your finger, it's higher pressure than the one you're pressing with your hand. Yeah. Okay, guys, remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. We're gonna pop another balloon now. Uh, see, it's really hard. Uh, whoa.